All right, once you have your concentric circles finished, and I have a new material I'm gonna order so you can put a thin circle next week in between some of your larger circles. Um, so those materials make some of those circles stand out even more, which is really cool, but those have not come in yet. Um, you guys are going to be able to paint the space around your circle. So I also want you to think about this space as a contrast to your next square and also your ring. So if you have maybe a warm color with your ring, you can do a cool color next to it. Or for this one, I had a cool color for the ring. So I'm going to create a warm color next to this one. And you're going to simply paint around those carefully. Now you can also mix these colors. So if you have like yellow, but I know that I have red right next to it, I might think about mixing another color with that yellow to make it a little bit more of a contrast. Maybe I can mix a little bit of green with it. Red and green are complements. And I don't have to have it perfectly blended if I just wanna leave it kind of like that. When you do that wet on wet technique, the colors kind of blend together and you see that looks kind of interesting. All right, so you're gonna finish up the squares. I did not do any color in between on the lines. I'm just gonna carefully paint those lines so you see the square as well as the circle in between. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished. Okay, so now I finished my colors and I think it looks nice. I added a few of these colors. I mixed a little bit of blue in my green and purple in my blue and a little bit of orange into the yellow here. This one I think I just used mostly red. Um, this one I put a little bit of green in the corners and then a little bit of yellow around my orange. And then once you're finished, I'll put that in the drying rack and we will put these into Artsonia next week.